right up here. Um, I came here tonight with a few things I'd like to talk about since I got a good crowd of people all here at once. All you guys came to see me. Um, I feel like society as a whole is getting pretty open-minded, getting kind of freakier, which is kind of a cool thing, but sometimes it just goes way too fucking far. Uh, example, I go to a restaurant the other night, and I walk by this like elderly couple in their 70s having dinner, and the uh, old man turns to me and says, hey son, my name is Abe, uh, would you mind taking a picture of me and my date here? I said, yeah, sure, take the picture. And I say, so Abe, how long have you guys been married? And he pulls me aside, he's like, dude, I got her off of Craigslist for the night. We're fucking after dinner. <laughs> I said, holy shit, you do this a lot, Abe? He said, yeah, these old women are horny as hell. They give really great blowjobs and they take their teeth out. <laughs> it's a little too much information, Abe. But uh, I feel like people party a little too hard, too. Um, I went to a party one time. It was like, it was kind of a bit of shady house. There was a high volume of strippers and drug dealers here. And uh, I go in... And like I said, it was kind of ghetto. Uh, they had their washing machine for their clothes. It was in the kitchen. I don't get what that was all about. But uh, I'm sitting there, and people are drinking beers, and all of a sudden, joints and bongs start coming out. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And I look over, and off the white washing machine, I just see a guy going, <laughs> just doing blunt lines of blow off of a white washing machine. And I'm fascinated. I'm like watching Animal Planet over here, like, oh my god. And I go over and I say, okay, I got two questions for you here. First, as fucked up as you are, how can you see the cocaine against a whitewashing machine? I said, second, how do you know it's not bleach? <laughs> and he just looks back and says, it is bleach, man, you want a line? I said, fuck no, but clearly you like to keep your nostrils their whitest. I mean, I'm guilty of getting out of hand at times, too. I, uh, I got into a really embarrassing situation one time. I, uh was coming home from a bar. I had a girl. We're going all hot and heavy. Next thing I know, she starts giving me road head. I'm, I'm driving, trying to keep under the speed limit, and uh, eventually I get pulled over for s speeding and swerving. And the guy comes up and, uh, you know, he, he, he looks in. My pants are undone. He knows what's going on. He says, son, do you know what the uh, fines are for reckless driving and indecent exposure? Which, I hate it when cops ask stupid questions. I got pulled over once and the guy was like, you know, do you have any illegal drugs, weapons, or alcohol on you? Does anybody get caught with that way? They just put their hands up and say, I got a balloon of heroin in my ass and a headless hooker in the trunk? You got me, you are good. You're fucking good. But so the guy asked me, do you know what the fines are for reckless driving and indecent exposure? I said, no, but are they more than paying her to finish? <laughs> oh man, oh, speak speaking of blowjobs, I, uh, I, had, I had the uh, honor of dating a girl who was cross-eyed once. And it was awesome because she, I felt like I had the biggest dick in the world because every time she gave me head, it looked like I was poking her in her brain. She's like, I didn't know. You know, it was awesome. Oh, uh, well. I, t I tend to get in a lot of trouble with women. I get in over my head in a lot of situations. I dated a German girl one time, and I'm sorry, there's nothing fucking scarier than dating, a, than having sex with uh, somebody who's riding you, moaning and screaming in German. It was very authoritative. I felt like she was fucking me. I felt like Poland in 1939. And what's even worse was when she was finished having her way with me, she sent me home on a train. I said, baby, I drove here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, come on. I was making fun of how Germans are scary. That wasn't a Jew joke. Come on. But uh, they are. They're fucking scary, man. I had sex with one. I thought she was going to impregnate me, and then like a month later, an alien was going to burst out of my stomach or something. It was weird. Oh, jeez. Everybody having fun? Yeah? Come on. Come on. It's Thursday night and we're getting fucked up. Make some noise. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I got in hot water. I tell you, one time I got in some real hot water with a girl I was dating. Uh, we were texting, flirting back and forth, you know? And in all fairness to me, I was at a party just getting shit housed. I was drunk as a motherfucker. And we're texting, and uh, and finally, she's like, all right, well, I'm going to bed. Uh, the text is like, good night, cute boy, I'll see you tomorrow. After all this conversation of trying to set up a date for the next night. And I text back, I was like, all right, uh, good night, I'll see you tomorrow, Aaron. I hit send. And then all of a sudden, right after I put my phone in my pocket, fuck, her name is Emily. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. Oh, man. 
you know, but not 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 just me and people partying. I think I think movies are getting out of hand now. I'm a big uh, I'm a big horror film fan. How many of you guys like horror movies? Yeah. Come on, it's getting close to Halloween. Get, let your freak flag fly here. And uh, and so I found I like to find new movies, new scary movies I haven't seen. And I find this film on Netflix called Shrooms, which came out like a couple years ago. Have you, have you seen it? Go watch it. I know you look like you've done some shrooms though, so you might enjoy it. But uh, as the title suggests, it's about a group of college friends who decide that it's going to be a fun idea for spring break to go over to Ireland of all places, and yeah, go to a place where you know people by the droves left about a hundred years ago, and they go over there, run around in the forest near an old abandoned uh, orphanage where kids were killed a hundred years later, and take magic mushrooms and trip in the woods. Who the fuck thinks this is a good idea? And so, of predictably, you know, it is a horror movie. They, they take the shrooms and they're running around and trees are like waving hi to them and cows are talking to them and shit. And all of a sudden they start seeing this axe-wielding maniac chasing them. Next thing they know, people are disappearing. Nobody knows what's real or what's not because everyone's fucking high as shit. <laughs> and eventually the, you know, girl, uh, you know, half-naked girl's running through the woods. He's coming! He's coming! He pops out in front of her. Fuck! <laughs> cuts her fucking head off. And I'm sitting here watching it. And I'm just shocked. Like, how did this movie ever come out? How the fuck did they get a hold of my tape from spring break? I thought I got rid of that shit when I got rid of the bodies. I don't need my parents and employers seeing that shit. Fuck me. All right, you guys have been a lot of fun. I gotta get going. My name's Tom Young. Thank you.